Hello guys, today we learn how to create fire particles with trap code particular in After Effect. Ok. So first open After Effect and create a new composition for background. Now take a new solid for background layer. And add 4 color gradient to it. Adjust the colors to make a reddish background. Take another solid name it to Fractal Noise. And add Fractal Noise effect to it. Set the Fractal Type to Dynamic Progressive. Noise Type to Spline. And invert it. Increase the Contrast and decrease the value of brightness. Now go to the Transform tab, and increase the scale to approx 152. Set the complexity to 15. Now go to the subsetting and decrease the sub scaling to about 53. And change the sub rotation to approx 45 degree. OK. Now for animation of background layer we are animating evolution. Now select the evolution, and click on this clock button to add keyframe. Now go to the end of the timeline and change the value of evolution. Set the blending mode of the fractal noise layer to classic color dodge. Now if you find any overexposed spot, decrease the contrast. Take a new solid for particle layer and name it to main particles. Apply trap code particular effect on this layer. Now go to emitter and set the position to bottom left. Set the particles per second to 200. Velocity to 150. Now go to the Particle tab and set the Life 3.8. Life Random to 100. Decrease the size to 1. and size random to 100. Change the graph of size over life. Set the opacity random to 100. Now go to physics and open air tab. Set air resistance to 1. Wind X to 180 and Wind Y to minus 90. Now open Turbulence Field tab, and set Effect Size to 20 and decrease the scale to 3. Set physics time factor to 
and effect position to 750. Now change the color of particles from particle tab. Add glow effect to the particle. Reduce the glow threshold to approx 27 and radius to 1. Now duplicate the glow effect by pressing Ctrl D or Command D. So we can make particles color yellow inside and outer edge to reddish. Now set the glow threshold of glow 2 to approx 9 and set intensity to 1.2. and make radius 2. I am changing threshold of both the glow. Add some spin to the particles from air. Under Physics tab, set the spin amplitude value to approx 40. Now we adding some motion blur particles. For this duplicate the main particles layer. And rename it to motion blur particles. Select the motion blur particle layer and set particle per second to 350 from emitter. And particle size to 0.5 from particle tab. Set air resistance to 0.1. For motion blur effect, open rendering tab and turn on the motion blur. And set the shutter angle to 390. Now increase the spin amplitude to 60 from air tab. Change the velocity of motion blur particles to 200. OK now we are adding some bokeh particles. For this duplicate the main particle layer and rename it to bokeh particles. Select the bokeh particle layer and set particle per second to 50. And change the value of position Z to negative. So we can bring particles to closer to the screen. Increase the particle size to 3. Now add a camera and go to camera option. 
turn on the depth of field. Set the blur level to approx 350. And departure to 35.3. Change the camera view to 2 view. And set the focus distance. The particles from all 3 layers at this white line are sharply focused. Now take an adjustment layer. And add curves and level for color correction. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions please write in the comment box. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.